Welcome everyone. This is so exciting. I'm doing this for the first time on the channel. Uh, I just received these three new decks. I will be receiving more because I do feel that um, there are so many decks out there and they do really enrich the messages here. And so I did um, order a few for the channel. I felt it was time and I want to share these with you um, just so we get to know them together. So I'm looking at these three decks for the very first time and I'm really excited about all of them for different reasons, okay? And let's find out more about them. So we're gonna start with the friends deck. I'm gonna pull these to the side. Let's do a flip through. Okay, let's see what it says on the box. This is such a cute box. It opens like this. It has a really cute lid on it. We have all the characters here. On this side, on this side. Let me just regulate the light a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit better, I think. Yeah, maybe like that. So it says, do you have existential questions about your personal universe? Are you waiting for your job prospects to make a sharp pivot? Starting to get concerned about what exactly they are feeding smelly cat. If you answered yes to any of these questions, this deck of laugh out loud friends themed tarot cards might just have the answers. So who else is a, a huge friends fan? I mean, some things really don't go out of fashion, right? I mean, they still make me laugh so much and um, I, I really don't find any other um, comedy show as entertaining as friends. So. I'm really curious. I really wanted to get my hands on one of these. Here we have um, Rachel and Ross and Chandler. Here we have Monica, Joey, and Phoebe. Phoebe is my favorite character. What is your favorite character? Comment down below. I think she's so, so funny. Uh, not that the others aren't. I mean, it's a wonderful ensemble, right? And we have Ross is also my favorite. So that would be Ross and Phoebe. Not taking any um, credit from the other ones, but yeah, Phoebe is definitely my favorite. But let's see enough about that and my friends thing. So let's take, see how I, I didn't touch this. <sighs> We're just, let's take the, the plastic off. See, these are brand, brand new. Okay, so let's see. Look into your future, how to shuffle, spread, read, and reflect. Has, there's no booklet because it's obviously it's a tarot deck, so there's no need. Oh, I love this. This is that, um, you know, that frame they have on the door in the purple. I love it. It's not the same purple, but it's still rem reminiscent of. And so we got the fool here. The fool is Joey, obviously. Well, at least in this interpretation, it seems obvious. Then we have the magician, Phoebe. The high priestess is Rachel. The empress is Monica. Ooh, and the emperor, Tom Selleck. This was a wonderful character. One of my favorite actors as well. The hierophant, also Monica. Then the lovers, of course, Ross and Rachel. The chariot, yeah, Phoebe's taxi. We got the strength with Chandler. Yeah, he's a Leo. Uh, then we have Hermit, Ross, Wheel of Fortune, we have Ross and Monica. Then we have Justice, the hanged man would be Chandler, looks like Chandler. Ooh, the death, we've got Ross, Temperance Rachel, the devil. I wonder why I just got stuck on this Tom Selleck thing, the emperor. Okay. The devil, we have Joey. The tower is their building. The star, Monica. The moon, Monica. The sun, Phoebe. Yeah, she's a sunshine. She's a ray of sunshine. Judgment, we have uh, Chandler. The world, we have Monica. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands, Rachel. Three of Wands, Ross, so typical. I'm <laughs> looking at the plane there. Four of Wands, Rachel and Ross. Oh, this is where, when 
Rachel traveled away and Ross was stranded here waiting for her, didn't want her to go. I don't remember. There was 10 seasons in that. Four of Wands, Rachel and Ross ending up together, of course. Five of Wands. Yeah, that scene where they all playing um, American football. Six of Wands, Rachel working at Central Perk, getting her first job that she sucked at. <laughs> Seven of Wands, Rachel. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Yeah, that would be Ross for sure. Ten of Wands, Rachel feeling burdened by life. Page of Wands. The Knight of Wands with Monica. Queen of Wands, Rachel. King of Wands, Ross. The Divine Counterparts. There we have them. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Three, Five will act for pennies, yeah. Starving actor, Joey, Six of Pentacles, after he started making money on acting, this is so funny, Seven of Pentacles, but double auditions when he Yeah, that's so interesting that they chose Joey for the pentacles. Going from the no having no money, getting those gigs on stage, then, you know, having to save, then running out of money all the time, making it big. <laughs> Ten of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Yeah, when he had that gig at the store uh, spraying perfume on people. Now the Knight of Pentacles, I don't remember who this character is. Can any one of you remember who that is? Queen of Pentacles, I remember this character. And the King of Pentacles, yeah, did she date? She dated Joey, exactly. Ace of Cups, oh, that's, that's a lovely couple there. Paul Rudd and Phoebe, Two of Cups. Three of Cups, the friends, the girls. Four of Cups, yeah. Phoebe really is that emotional one who, who really uses humor to distract herself from her own life. Six of Cups, but she's really the one who struggles the most. Everyone thinks it's Rachel, but Phoebe's always like on this path. Oh, this was that other boyfriend she had. The Knight of Cups. Queen of Cups and the King of Cups, of course, who she ends up with. And we have the Ace of Swords, Two of Swords, Monica, Three of Swords, yeah. Oh, is that, wait a second, that's Chandler? No, this is Monica, so it's Monica and Chandler. Three of Swords, yeah, Four of Swords, Five of Swords, Six of Swords. Yeah, he's the one who's like, uh, spends a lot of time in his mind and he has the most existential, um, challenges to deal with then we have monica again nine of swords ten of swords yeah page of swords knight of swords and then they are the queen of swords and the king of swords wonderful okay so that's going to be fun to use this deck really fun so i can't wait to explore this deck with you guys doesn't have a booklet okay so it's really for friends fans I'm, I'm so interested in seeing what's coming out of here because I'm going to use their personalities and and interpreting the the meanings for you guys and then we got the oracle of the fairies deck I, I really love this deck because of the imagery and because I am into the fairies I'm a fairy myself I love nature I really crave nature so let's see what we have here opening this for the first time so ooh, got some nail polish on that there we go such a beautiful I love the back of this deck I really and the colors we got abundance ask for help believe in magic look how beautiful these are celebration come together 
by the way, guys, if you are interested in any of these decks, you can find them in the affiliate, affiliate links down below. I know a lot of you use these decks. Um, you are uh, psychics, uh, tarot readers, you know, oracle readers, and you really like to know about these. It says, fairies are magical beings who are guardians of the planet. They are the ultimate spiritual environmentalists. They wish for everyone to tune into their ancient wisdom. The 44 cards in this deck will guide you to connect with the fairy world to receive inspiration for everyday life. Each reading will reveal positive and practical fairy insight, which is directly related to your own energy. Come play with the fairies. We got div divination, fairy spotting, find balance, flourish, friendship, go outside, healing, hidden depths, hope inner child, inspiration, journey, life energy, light, look in a book, lost and found, magical blessings, magical gateway, manifestation. I really can't wait to use these. Moderation, moon energy, motivation. This has some really beautiful artwork. Music, Ooh. nature signs, new beginnings, precious time, protect your dreams, protection. Look at that beautiful, pure intention, purity. I love this one too. Shine from within, solitude, stargazing, temptation, transformation, tree wisdom, wait for winter, wisdom, and wish wisely. Yes, we should all wish really wisely. Absolutely. Sometimes what we wish for is not what is best for us. So it really is advisable to wish wisely. All right, beautiful deck. Can't wait to use it and see what messages come from there. So if you feel like you're a fairy, definitely get this deck. Now, this one I've also been looking really forward to. It's Sacred Destiny. I so I, I've seen a lot of people use this and they really some interesting messages that come out of this one here. So it says, from the earliest history of mankind, there are records of native people using the signs in nature to determine their destiny. Wise elders were able to move through music, through mystic gateways into inner realms to bring back wisdom and guidance to their tribes. Beautiful. In this powerful oracle card deck, best-selling author Denise Lynn draws from her Native American heritage and experience as a gifted healer and teacher with with each card, you receive access to a different gateway from our earth, earthly realm to the one of spirit. From forests to floodplains, meadows to caves, shimmering sh shine, sunshine to the secrets of the moon, these vibrant cards will fill your days with messages of spirit from the landscapes within and around us. Ooh, I love this. Sacred Destiny Oracle. Ooh, these are so beautiful. And the back of them, the cards too. Ooh, beautiful. I love it when the authors pay good attention to the back of the cards and the colors because it's really nice to be working with nice colors that are relaxing and and this one is also starting with abundance like this one also the first card that came out is abundance <coughs> sorry so we got abundance we got action look how beautiful these are just Look how beautiful these cards are, these colors and these images. Blessings, look at that. I'm going to add some light here to see if you can see this better, the colors. We got change, beautiful. Community, courage, delight, diligence embracing, enlightenment, flexibility, flow, focus, forgiveness, freedom, fulfillment, gateway, going forward, happiness, healing chaos, illumination. These are so nice to touch as well. Inner peace, leadership. I love that one with the fish and the flowers. Leadership, love, miracles, new beginnings, openness. Look at all those constellations there. Opportunity, patience, pleasure. 
potential, power, protection, purification, purity, relaxation, release, security, simplicity, solitude, standstill, stillness, success, taking risks, thriving, transformation, trust, truth, voyage, wisdom, and wonders. I love how it has a crystal tower there. You know what, guys? I'm going to draw one of these for the collective. I'm going to draw a message here from the collective, and then we can read from the book. And then I'm going to draw from the other decks a message for the collective as well. Something you need to hear right now. So, Spirit, only do good to me and through me, no evil to me and through me. Bring me the truth for everyone's highest good. And protect everyone watching, creating a ripple effect beyond and bring us healing as well. Thank you. So let's see what these have to say. What is the message here? I'm really, I really understand why people use this deck now. Now that I'm holding it, it's powerful. It really is powerful. I can feel this is going to be a good one. Release and relaxation. Release is very full moon vibe. So we're watching this in full moon. So a lot of you may be releasing, obviously, a lot of things right now. Maybe emotions are running high. So can we get one message for the collective, please, Spirit? Thank you. What is the message for the collective, please? Simplicity. Okay, let me see. Maybe. So let's see what the message is. Simplicity. So for some of you, the feather may have some kind of meaning. Imagine a single white feather illuminated against a blue sky, wafting on warm air cur currents as it floats to the earth with simplicity and grace. Both Native Americans and Egyptians thought feathers were messages from the sky gods. Chiefs would wear feathers to symbolize their communing with the creator. It was believed that when one more feathers one on one's hand, head, Messages from a human could travel to spirit. Likewise, messages and energy from the spiritual realms could travel back down to the human through the hollow shaft of the feather. Feathers were also wa wafted through the air to cleanse and purify a space. So many of you could have been um, asking for a sign from your ancestors, from passed on loved ones, and you may have asked for specifically for a feather, so... To find a sacred simplicity and have clarity in your life, do only what matters. Release everything else. Simplify your life. Scan all areas and clear both internal and external clutter. This is so full moon vibes. Rest, rejuvenate. Yes, the two cards I saw when I cut the deck were um, release and rest. So... And only participate in what is truly important to you. Relinquish everything else. Do not delay and do it now. When your life is cluttered with objects, relationships, time constraints, and emotions, there's no room for spirit. There's too much static and too much stuff to connect to your soul. The smallest amount of clutter clearing can make the biggest difference. So declutter, guys. Okay, now is, the, is a good time to declutter. Beautiful deck, beautiful messages. I'm going to really look forward to working with this deck. Now, I want to get one from the Oracle uh, of the Fairies for you guys. We got the book here. I love these. I love these colors. Very gentle energy coming from these cards, from these oracle cards. So we got friendship. 
Fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. So a lot of you are decluttering so you can uh, make space for true friendships and to receive your soul family, soul tribe. So yeah, a lot of us, especially last year and this year, we're getting in touch with our soul tribe, right? We are discovering who our true friends are, who those people are who share the same interests, the same values as we do. So there's a big, big change going on for humanity when it comes to um, the people in our lives that we choose as friends. So it says fairies and humans alike need friends. So we all need someone we can trust to share our private thoughts with. Yeah, because not everyone's going to understand us. This card tells you to reach out to your old friends, to older new friends, to gather your friends around you for there's power in numbers. Friends can offer advice that can give us hope in another point of view. Fairies too gather in groups to support each other and there's great wisdom and comfort in doing this. Like-minded and like-hearted friends are like fairy dust shining in our darkest and lightest hours and we're always there for each other. No matter what time of day or night it is, true friends celebrate our success and our joy for they're truly happy when we're happy. This card also asking, is also asking if you are being a good friend. Or have you neglected your friendships? Perhaps an old colleague or school friend needs you, you to reach out. Close your eyes and see who pops into your mind. Then get in touch with them. Perhaps give them a call or send an email just to say hi and check they're doing okay. Friendships can last a lifetime and should be treasured. It could also be time to make new friends. It's so interesting how friendships are coming up and this deck comes in with the same deck here. That's so interesting. So, yeah, so, so the, the big theme here could be friendships for sure. So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to leave this one here. Then I'm going to draw one from the friends deck. But let's keep going. Could also be time to make new friends. Yeah, that's calling in your soul tribe. Yeah, declutter and call in your soul tribe. Join a class to learn a new skill or go for a walk at a popular park or attraction. By getting out and exploring, you're much more likely to meet others with similar interests than if you stay at home. You never know, you could make an FFF fairy friend forever. Beautiful. So now that this mentioned friendships, I'm going to read it together with the tarot to see what message is coming out about that. About friends and friendships. Three of Cups, again, celebrating with friends. Look at that. A celebration here. Getting together a reunion, friends reunion. Could it be that they were talking about a friends reunion in the making? Either a movie about friends reuniting or some kind of friends reunion. A reunion with friends. Let's see what else we have. Let's get some more. Some kind of celebration definitely sisterhood because see we got three feminines in there and three feminines in there so there's some kind of sisterhood going on here ten of swords maybe supporting a friend after a, a breakup or a divorce closing a cycle some of your friends may be closing cycles or maybe you are closing some kind of a cycle separating getting a divorce having to start out fresh Wanting more love in your life. Setting on a new journey toward new goals after a separation. Maybe some of you separated from someone who was not there for you. A baby daddy. And you're having to 
call in your friends for support. Love is on the way though. Love is on the way, okay? Look at that, beautiful. So if you have been through a breakup, um, get in touch with your friends. Ask your friends to help you because that's what you need right now and love will definitely come later, later on and it's going to be a higher level soulmate, okay? Beautiful messages here. Yeah, six of wands. You're feeling really victorious. They're also saying... If your situation has put you in a financial pinch, don't worry. Just, just make things happen for you. Don't be too stuck on what you lost here because you're going to recover it in tenfold. Yeah, some of you may have had your heart broken. There may have been a tower moment here, but you're getting your new beginning, Ace of Wands, okay? So if you're feeling left out in the cold right now, you, that's not going to last long. You're going to be financially independent and successful. You're going to rely upon your intuition to make it happen. And you're going to heal by moving away. And working hard will lead you to your Ten of Cups. Focusing on yourself is going to lead you to emotional fulfillment and a new love, okay? For those of you who... Um, this could be a friend of yours who needs your, your help with a breakup here to get them... Uh, um, up and going again or maybe this is you who needs to rely on your friends and you're not feeling so good about yourself but trust me um, work on yourself now and it won't be that long that it'll take for you to get to that place where you want to be okay but friends are really going to help you through this process so beautiful so uh, I love the synchronicities here with the friends deck and the friendship coming out and decluttering yeah so there's maybe a lot of emotions that you need to declutter here um maybe there may be a person you may have to let go of or something like that to simplify your life okay maybe um you are moving into temporary temporarily uh, you have less finances but this is very temporary they're just saying, don't be afraid, just get out there, find a job, rely on your friends and everything else will work out really beautifully. Okay, this was such a pleasure. Bless you all and I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these. Okay, and I hope to see you soon. Bye for now, until next time.